Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm Michael, um, the Linux Preacher. And on this channel, we like to talk about things, um, all things Linux. Helping you find the right distro, the right tools, um, to making your everyday Linux experience a smooth and fun um, experience. Um, so today we're going to be talking about um, top five apps that every Linux user should install in 2025. I know we're kind of late on this. It's towards the end of the year, um, but these are still the applications that you should have for sure. There's a lot of other ones, but trust me, these are the apps that will make your desktop, um, make your life way easier. It's going to make your desktop life way, 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 <laughs> way easier. So no matter what distro you're using, um, these are definitely um, going to be helpful. So let's jump right into it. First off, we have Yelp. Yeah. All right, we have GIMP. Uh, if you ever use Photoshop, this is the open source version um, that comes packed with power, comes packed with everything that you're going to need. Um, you can edit photos, design flyers, make YouTube thumbnails. Um, you can even do some digital artwork too as well um, inside of this um, application. Um, what I love about GIMP the most is that it runs great on almost every linux distribution there is from ubuntu to fedora um and it doesn't eat up your resources like other heavier software does to as well so that's something to definitely think about um so if you're doing any kind of creative work I, on linux i definitely recommend that you get gimp um it is going to be your go-to image editor for sure all right um so next we have now of course you know we could not um go without mentioning some browser i know most people are going to say firefox but for me it's chromium um chromium is an open source version of google chrome which is what i like to use if you're using windows or um mac os anything like that but we're on linux um which i think we can get chrome to as well but but i like to use chromium it's the open source version of it um it's fast it's secure and it's the per it's perfect for for syncing your bookmarks your extensions and settings um all together if you're using chrome on other devices um the big plus here is is that you are you don't have to worry about google tracking um any of your information um so you know it's it's, it's no google tracking um that's by default so keep that in mind um you you also get chrome extensions without the extra baggage of everything just like you would in the regular chrome um so whether you're watching youtube managing web apps or or doing online work chromium is going to be the browser um, that you need for your linux system in 2025 just keep that in mind for sure now next number three we're at we're at we're at we're at OBS Studios. We're at OBS Studios for number three. Um, if you're into content creation, live streaming, um, recording tutorials um, like this one um, or other ones that I've done, OBS is going to be the absolute beast. It's going to be, I think, as the kids are saying today, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. It's going to be the GOAT. It's going to be the beast that you need. Um, you can record your screen. You can record webcams, overlays, um, switch screens. You can even stream directly to YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Um, in this and the good thing about this is is that OBS is 100% open source and it runs beautifully on Linux um, and so um, you can use OBS um, you know to do a lot really and I, I personally use it myself of course I'm using it right now um, to record um, this this video right now um, it's one of those two that you don't really realize how much you you um, you you know how much you need it until you actually use it and once you've used you're like man where has this been my entire life <laughs> all right for number four we have of course i've got to always mention this vlc media player listen number four is vlc media player uh is, is one of the most simple um media players ever and the thing i love about vlc is it plays everything listen you can watch videos, listen to music, DVDs. You can even you can even watch screams inside of VLC. VLC has around. I mean, it's 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 it has just a a well rounded. Um, how do I want to say that? It's just it's just well rounded. That's the best way to put it. It's well rounded. Um, you know, it, it and it's been around forever. It's been around a really really long time. And it's just one of those simple apps that I feel like everybody needs you don't have to worry about any weird um codecs you don't have to worry about any weird hiccups that's going to happen if it's if it's a, a file that can be played most of the time it's going to be played inside of vlc the the one of the greatest things about vlc2 as well is that it's lightweight it's customizable um and you can watch almost anything 
I just can't stress it enough. You can watch almost anything, um, anything, you know. Um, I like to think of VLC really as like the swift, the the Swiss Army knife of media players. Um, it, 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 anything you need, it's there. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. It's going to perform all the time. All right. So for our final, final app, it's going to be Steam. Okay. Number five, it's going to be Steam. Listen. I know in the past, years ago, gaming on Linux um, was didn't seem like it was promising. Um, but gaming on Linux now has come a long, long way. And Steam is a huge reason for that, for sure. Um, so thanks to Proton, um, you, know, you know, you can now play thousands of Windows games right on Linux. Um, from indie titles all the way to to AAA hits. I mean, you can, you can, you can, you can play just about anything. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're running Ubuntu, um, pop os or even arch you know steam is the best gateway into the world of gaming for you um plus community support and performance improvements in 2025 have made linux gaming smoother than ever now um so you now have a, a whole community of people that's that's there to back you up so if something goes wrong you can talk to them where in the past you were kind of on an island by yourself and if you had some issues that were going on um, you kind of have to figure them out by yourself unless you went to a bunch of forums and read and finally got yourself out of the pit that you were in. But now they've made it a lot easier. Um, but listen, so here, here we have it. Um, top five apps that you need, of course, GIMP, Chromium, OBS Studio, VLC, and Steam. Um, each one of these apps, they bring something that's powerful to your Linux system, um, whether it's creativity, productivity, entertainment, or just pure fun like steam for instance um if you already use any of these apps drop your favorite um down in the comments for me let me know which ones you already use or tell me what you think um i should have added to this list that is uh, and if, if you found this this video helpful make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future linux videos until next time stay curious stay creative and keep loving linux you have a blessed day and stay free